Hi, I'm going to show you how to make some sounds in GarageBand, put them into Scratch, and then be able to play a musical instrument made out of anything that conducts electricity. So I'd like to show you a quick example. This is my son Sam. We set this up at home. We had five spoons because we found they were very easy to play and they conducted electricity well. We also tried this with bananas. But each spoon is wired to a different button on the Makey Makey, which then goes into the computer. And each time he presses a spoon, it plays a different note. So the first thing you need to do is get some sounds. So I opened up GarageBand, and right now it's just plain. What I'm going to do is create a new track. And I'm going to pick a software instrument. The computer is going to make this. The next thing I need to do here, since there's really nothing in my track, I'm going to press Command and click. And it creates a little section for me. If I double click on that, I can select which note. It shows me a piano. So let's say I'd like middle C, which is C1. I can make it right here, and I'll drag it like that. I'm going to make it a little bit stronger of a note. And then I can play it, and I've got my sound. It's playing C. If I want a different instrument, it's as easy as looking to the side. Um, right over here, I can pick a guitar, and I can pick let's say a banjo. So this is now going to play a banjo C. Next thing that I need to do, send my song to iTunes, or sorry, export song to disk. I want it to be a small, smallest file possible so Scratch likes it. So it's going to compress it, make it smaller, and it's an MP3, MP3 which is kind of a lower quality sound file. I click export and it will ask me what I want to call it. I'm going to call it banjo C, so that I remember, and I'm going to save it on my desktop so I can easily find it. You can save it in whatever folder. It's a good idea to make its own folder for these sounds. That's where I'm going with it. Takes a second, and now it's there. I'm going to go to Scratch now, and I will create some new scripts. What I want to do first is make sure that Scratch has my sound. So I'm going to upload it here. And there it is on my desktop. There's Banjo C MP3. I can preview it if I want to, but there it is. Open. And now it is in my Scratch. Okay. I'm going to call this Banjo Makey Makey so that I can remember it. Okay, now it's time to go to scripts. And I need to create an event. I'm going to write down here when blank is pressed, let's say the up arrow is pressed, I would like it to play um, a sound. Oops, that's what I need to go to, sounds. When that up arrow key is pressed, I want it to play sound banjo, okay? Now, if you're making a whole set of different pitches, like my example had five, then what I would need to do is right click and duplicate this. It's the fastest way. And then I can just change here. And now to show you how to set it up with the Makey Makey. I'm going to show you a few screenshots here. This is a little blurry, but it will show you. I have um, a white wire right here is plugged into earth. That is the grounding wire. That is the wire that you need to hold to complete the circuit. Then you'll see I use the remaining wires to hook into each different up arrow, down arrow, um, left and right, and then we also use the space bar because we wanted five notes in our song. Um, the next thing we had to do then is connect the ends of those to something that conducts electricity. So here you can see we chose spoons because they were very easy to touch and play quickly and they're great conductors of electricity. This also works with bananas. You can also have somebody hold the yellow wire and high five them and that will connect the circuit. But anything that um, conducts electricity could be used for this. We laid them out in order. So we programmed the arrow key 
here the left arrow key to play the note C. We then programmed um, the black one would be D, the yellow wire would be E, green is F, and gray is G. And that's how we set it up. Now you'll see my son is holding the white wire. If he is holding that, the electrical circuit is coming from here and it's going through the wire from the makey makey to his hand. His body then conducts electricity, but it's not going anywhere until he hits a spoon. Once he hits the spoon, the connection is complete. The circuit is complete, and um, it will activate the sound that's programmed in Scratch. If he were to let go of the white wire and touch the spoons, absolutely nothing will happen. So that's how we set it up, how we programmed it, and found we could play a musical instrument with whatever notes we wanted.